last lecture, we studied about the general features about the cerebellum. We came to know about what the cerebellum was. We came to know about its functions. Then we studied about the different lobes, anterior, posterior, and uh, your flocculonodular lobe. And we studied that how those lo lobes are connected with their performance of functions. Functions. Now we're going to go into a bit detail about it because we are not about high school students. We're going to be going into medical schools. So you should have a more knowledge about what cerebellum is basically concerned deeply. So before going into the depths of the cerebellum, let's see about that uh, we came to know in our pre uh, previous lecture that on posterior view, you had the central cavity. And which contains whole matrix of the cerebral cortex, which is the highest center in brain which will send impulses. So that cerebral cortex, which is containing the whole material in your cerebellum, that is called as your worms. And these lateral areas, these one, they are called as your lateral hemisphere or the cerebral hemispheres. And in between the lateral or the cerebellar hemisphere and the wormal area or the wormous area is called as the paravermal area or your intermediate immediate zone. Now, there are different neurons which are present in these different parts of the cerebellum, which will then play an important role in our different pathways associated with the cerebellum. Before going into them, uh, let's go into the names first. And before coming into the name, how you will know uh, like uh, your nanomics or the keywords to memorize the name. That is that don't eat greasy food. D for your dentate nucleus, E and G for your uh, emboliform nucleus and your globose nucleus, and F for your vestigial nucleus. So in order to memorize these names of the different parts of the nucleus, the key is that don't eat greasy food. That is the word I use, the keyword which helped me in order to memorize the names of the nucleus. You can make your own genomics and keywords that can help you guys to memorize it more easily. Now, keeping these nanomics or keywords in mind, let's see where they're located, basically in your cerebellum. Number one is this curl shape. This nucleus is called as the dentate nucleus because from our keyword, don't eat greasy food, D comes first. So it is the dentate nucleus. And where this dentate nucleus is located, you can see it is located at the lateral end of the cerebellum in the lateral hemisphere or cerebellar hemisphere. That is where this dentate nucleus is located. The second nucleus we studied from our keyword is that eat and greasy, means the nucleuses are going to start from the word E and the word G. The nucleus starting with the E word as E comes before G, so it is before here, it is the ambuloform nucleus, and here this is called the globose nucleus. These two are circle in shape, and you can see in colorified uh, microscope there will be blue or purplish, uh, purplish in color. Where they're located, now you can see that these small lobes these one, these are called as your globose nucleus. And these one which are present in front of it, those are called as the ambuloform nucleus. So these ambuloform nucleus along with the globose nucleus, they form together called as what is known as the interpose nucleus. Now where they're located? Ambuloform nucleus, you can see that they're present partially near to this wormus and also in the lateral or cerebral hemisphere. So that area which is present close to the wormal and also in the lateral hemisphere, that is called as the paravermal area. And the nucleus, which are the glomerules which are present within this cavity, containing whole of the cerebral cortex, that is known as your wormus. So globus is located in wormus, and below form is located in the para paravermal area. Now we have the last nucleus, that is the vestigial nucleus, because F comes in the end, food. Festigial nucleus is oval shaped. These ovals are present. I've shown it with the green color marker. And where they are located? They are located in this area which of the cerebellum which is called as the flocculonodular lobe. But according to our recent researches that is going on on the neurology field, some neurologists and neuroscientists have found that this festigial nucleus is not only located in the flocculonodular